to the 4th of July game down in Atlanta, Braves versus the uh, uh, Houston Astros. And um, when I was driving down there, I met um, some family down there at the game we went together. Um, but when I was driving down there, I got to thinking, um, it's been a little while since uh, we did anything type of video wise to have to do with SunTrust Park. So um, I did, I filmed some stuff there, um, took a lot of pictures. So there'll be a video from the 4th of July game, um, some of the festivities and stuff like that soon. But um, first of all, I wanted to talk about SunTrust Park in general. Um, so if you're not interested in baseball or anything like that, you know, I'm uh, sorry about that, but this video is going to be about that, about Suntrust Park and kind of clearing up some things, answering some questions. Um, but first things first, um, some of the comments. So um, some of the comments that I got on the video were, um, <clears throat> it looks plain. Um, why would you even need a new stadium? Turner Field was just fine. Um, things like that. So first of all, um, about it being kind of plain um, I would agree with you it is pretty traditional of a stadium it um, you know you don't really have a lot of flashy you know there's no big monument fountain in center field like there is in uh, Miami there's no you know train going along a track on the top of the stadium like in Houston there's no you know big mountain in center field like in Colorado there's none of that gimmick no, well I mean it's it's cool stuff I mean, I, I'm not gonna knock those stadiums for having that but there is none of that it's very traditional it's just it's a stadium it's a baseball stadium um, but on that with it being a baseball stadium it's a very good one it's a very good baseball stadium um, they really focused and in the games that I've been to, I've been to four games now this season, and um, and then the open house where the video was shot originally, the, the SunTrust Park tour. Um, but in my time there, I've noticed that the focus is really on the experience in the game, of, of going to a game, and I mean, it may look plain on the surface, but it's a very, very well thought out, very nice stadium. There's um, tons of fan experience stuff. There's a huge kid zone in the outfield with rock wall and um, batting cages and all their type of little um, carnival type games. Uh, so there's tons of stuff for kids to do. There's so much food. Um, there, there's food everywhere. Um, you know, you've got all the ballpark favorites. You got the Chop House and H and F Burger and barbecue all over the place there's tons of food and there's the food is evenly spaced you can find food wherever you want tacos are really good um, had tacos a couple games ago um, and no matter what deck you're on um, you go to the first second third third deck you're going to find those food options and it's not going to be far from your seat um, now in the first get first game we went to um, the concourse level down in the, the first level was very, very busy um, and super crowded. And I'm like, man, they did not think this out well. Have all this food right here and people, you know, just congregated and waiting forever for food. Now, since then, I've noticed, and I don't know if it's just because, you know, people are kind of more used to the stadium or it just kind of that novelty of getting food at the first level wore off or they, they, they figured out that there's food on other levels. But honestly, the lines have not been as bad. And on the 4th of July, they had the largest crowd um, in the stadium's history. So, I mean, short history, only like 40-something games. But the, um, the crowd was large, and it was not super-duper crowded. Um, especially, you know, as you go up, the, up on the other decks, if you go up to the second level, the third level, you can find whatever type of food you want not going to have to wait a long time for it um, so the food is great the the video board in center field is massive so on replays and stuff like that um, when they're doing little events like the beat the freeze or you know the hat check
chase type deal. Um, you you know you can see very well. Um, actually, being able to see the stadium uh, where where my seats are, um, they're actually it's on the third level out of four levels. But you get a great view of the stadium no matter where you sit. And um, so the stadium itself, while it doesn't have a lot of quirky things to it, it is very well thought out. Monument Garden behind home plate is very cool. A lot of the Braves history there you can see. And if you're not a Braves fan, sure, some of that is lost on you. But, um, you know, so I understand the Mets fans and stuff like that kind of giving some grief about, about it. But... You know, it's a it's a very nice stadium. The second big thing I want to talk about is why did they see the need to move and open a new stadium whenever the old stadium, Turner Field, was still a very nice stadium. The big thing is, um, you know, the ability to have other stuff around it for the fan experience. Um, yeah, the stadium was only 20 years old. It was still a nice stadium. But if you've ever been to it, you know that it's in, it was in a part of town that was kind of um, landlocked. There weren't any real opportunities to have like a shopping district or anything like that. Um, there were no opportunities um, for expansion as far as um, you know putting hotels or anything like that to keep people on that side of town. So pretty much everybody that went to games there was traveling from some other part of town. Um, so moving to where they are now, um, they have the battery, which has all kinds of food options, shopping options, uh, the Roxy Theater, they can hold other concerts and stuff there. Um, and, you know, it's in a part of town where, you know, there's a mall down the street, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of other, other things around that part of town that are that will draw fans to the games um, you know for the people that are south of Atlanta having to go um, and, and drive through Atlanta to get there um, what I say to them is you know yeah that's a thing you know you have to drive a little farther but for the past I mean for the past five years that I've been going to Braves games since I've lived in Tennessee uh, been a Braves fan all my life, but never had the opportunity to go to games just because, you know, living in South Florida, and we never really uh, had a chance to make it up to Atlanta to see a game. But the last five years that I've been going to Braves games, I've had to drive through downtown from, from Chattanooga to get there. If you want to go to a game, if people want to go see a game, they're going to make it a priority to go, and it won't matter if they have to drive through town from the south side or if they had to drive through town to the north side to get to Turner Field. People were going, still going to the games. Um, so, I mean, I think the whole complex is great. Um, there's tons to do. And, you know, yeah, on the selfish side, it is very convenient for me. It knocks off about 30 to 45 minutes of travel time. So it does make it convenient for me to be able to go to a lot of games. Um, so yeah, on the selfish side, you know, I like that. but. Overall, I think is there's a great fan experience. Um, the amenities for players are great as well. Which anytime they build a new stadium, they're going to have the latest and greatest amenities for the um, for the players. But you know, from a fan perspective, it's it's awesome to go watch a game there. Um, and you know, if the Braves can turn it around and be a playoff team down the road and you know, really pack that place out and have some good energy. People are going to see that, you know, it carries the same, um, carries the same energy and same culture that Turner Field was known for. And uh, it's going to serve the Braves community for years to come. So, anyways, I just wanted to have a quick little response video, just kind of um, share my thoughts on the stadium. Obviously, as a Braves fan and as somebody who goes to the games, I'm, you know, not gonna have a lot of negative to say about it. But, you know, there were some bugs that were getting that were being worked out, you know, with the crowds and stuff like that in the beginning. But, I mean, overall, it's a it's a nice stadium. Parking is another thing. Um, there were no 
like big parking garages or anything where you could park close to the stadium and not have to walk a mile uh, you know to get to the stadium from Turner Field there's two parking garages and multiple lots really close to the stadium at, at SunTrust Park where really if you you know you're paying twelve dollars to walk across the walking bridge across 75 if you pay 15 bucks you can park you know within 200 yards of the stadium so the parking situation is really good as well um, but I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts and uh, kind of give a little update on where I was coming from and uh, answer a few of those skeptics questions in the comments so anyways other than that I uh, Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, see you next time.